So I'm standing in front of a little model of a hempcrete wall that we prepared for today. And um, what we can see here is a hempcrete wall in process. So we see the different layers of the hemp, which is poured into the model and in 150, meters, uh, 100, 150 millimeter uh, layers, and we tamp it down. And that's how we build hemp walls. So there's a stick frame, we build the formwork, and then we mix the hemp. The hemp is basically only a binder, a lime, hemp, the herd, water and sand. Gets mixed to a pulp, which is actually quite dry still. It holds its form, but it's fairly dry. It's not a slurry. And then we pour it in and tap it down. And we found this building material because our vision is to build zero with zero toxic, uh, zero toxic building. There was no toxic in the house as well in the build. Because the hemp encases um, the, the stick frame, we don't even need to use treated timber. It's alkaline, the lime in the lamp is alkaline and it, it's resistant to uh, termites and mold. It inhibits growth of mold. The wall, the finished wall is a breathable product and it's a good moisture buffer. So it's moisture can get into the wall and can get out, it can travel through. So it's really um, conductive for really good, um, good air quality in your, in your home. It's a very good insulator as well, very good insulator. So it keeps out the heat and it keeps out the cold. So it, it ticks a lot of boxes for us, for building sustainably, low energy. You don't need, you don't need to use energies, uh, high energy to heat the house. And it's carbon negative, it grows, when it grows, it stores carbon, the hemp. And during the crystallization process of the walls, more carbon gets stored in the walls. Yes, so that's very briefly a few of the great um, advantages of building with hemp.